Right. Um, I feel like we've had quite a lot of Legion games on script recently. And <clears throat> we had a Vortox game earlier on, very briefly. So I think we'll go with Leech for this one. Who created this script? Really good question. I probably should have written that down. Um... Some some very good script creator created this script. I'm, so, I'm really sorry, whoever you are. Um, you deserve to, to have a shout out, uh, but I can't do it. But if you're in chat, speak up, um, and and heaps of praise will become yours. So, shuffle characters, but we want a leech. <clears throat> um, I'm I'm gonna actually. I'm going to take out the marionette. I'm going to put a goblin in. Because I, I've i not yet seen a goblin-leech combo. And I think that having a goblin in play is just a really useful thing um, for, the, for, for the leech, I think. Um, especially given that the leech can leech their own goblin. Although they've got no way of knowing that. And then um, the goblin could just get, claim goblin for the whole game. Uh, I'm I'm not going to have a heretic in play because I am exhausted. <laughs> uh, but what we will do is we'll have a we'll have a politician in there because it's been a while since we've seen one of those, isn't it? Um, let's let's ditch out the general for the choir boy because we we want a choir boy with that with that their king. Uh, got a nice cannibal there. Um, yeah, I think I think we got a good setup there. I'm quite happy with that. So, what if we in chat would like to participate in storytelling for a stream? Who would we talk to? Um. Oh, uh, that's that's an int oh well we have done we have done that before in the past. We've had uh, like we've used voting and stuff, um, so that to help chat pick things. But um, obviously, with something this complicated, it's not quite so easy to do. Game face. Well done, Game Face. So Michael from Melbourne, you you wrote an excellent script. Um, right. Let's. Ooh, you know, actually, I kind of want to take out that sailor for something else. Hmm. The sailor can be hard confirmed, actually. Which I'm. I'm. Well, no, actually, there's a leech in play, right? So the sailor could be the leech. Yeah, actually, we'll leave that in. That's great. We'll leave that in, and we'll probably drunk other people rather than the sailor. Oh, look at that. That is a thing of beauty right there. Okay. We do not have to make any decisions now, except for what the amnesiac's ability is going to be. Well, there you go. Now chat can participate in running. Hey, thanks for the raid, Charity Board Gamer. Just in time for us to uh, kick off this next game. Uh, if you are not familiar with Blue on the Clock Tower, this is an e extremely advanced script. Uh, so please, please do ask questions in chat. We have a great community here. We'll be more than happy to answer stuff. Amnesiac ability. Pick a player. You are mad that you are that player's character or something bad might happen. Oh, do you know what? We could... Um we can extend that. Um, pick a player. Oh. Oh no, no, actually no. I'm just realised now. Now that I'm saying it out loud, that that's not a good idea. <laughs> Is this a new script? It's a custom script. Um, you can actually go and make custom scripts on our website, uh, blowontheclocktower.com. There is a script building tool there where you can create your own scripts, mix and match characters. Um, oh, right, we've really got to come up with something for this amnesiac, haven't we? What about... What about pick pick a player, you learn if they are able to die at the moment you pick them. That's like, that's an incredibly powerful ability, but it's going to be quite difficult to learn. So, each night, select a player. You learn if they are susceptible to dying right now. I think we'll go each night um, starting on the second. Because 
Nadine will will work this out if we give if given enough time. Thank you for the sub, Jankovic. Pick a player you learn if they are the demon. That's a, that's a bit too powerful, I'm afraid. That one, because uh, like if they figure it out, it's game over, right? I think this one's nice and um, yeah, this one's quite quite subtle, I think. Yes. Anyway, yes. moving on. Hello. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> moving on. We are ready to play. So, um, yeah. Everyone sat down. Everyone is sat down. Beautiful. All right, guys. To your scattered cottages go. That was a literary reference there. If anyone's ever read To Your Scattered Bodies Go. Pretty cool book. Um, all right. We need to pick a... Do you know what? I'm going to have the... I'm going to have the choir boy be the red herring for the fortune teller so um let's yeah let's let's give everyone their roles boom oh i've just realized we've got a sentinel in play i completely forgot about that um <clears throat> yeah we've got a sentinel in play so actually we could make one of these guys the drunk. Nah, let's not. I like I like the balance as it is right now. I'm happy with the balance. I think I think this is I don't think we need that. Um but of course the sentinel is in play. For those of you who don't know what this is, uh the sentinel is a fabled character. Fabled characters are Characters that you bring into the game to modify it in some way. They're not played by anybody. Uh, in this case, the Sentinel is in, so there might be one extra or one fewer outsider in play. Of course, we've chosen for there not to be, uh, but but that is the case. Okay, um, let's give Evil Team their info. Hiya, Matt. Oh, connecting. Hello, Matt. Hello, Ben. So, you... Uh, you learned that your fellow minion is Nathan. Mm -hmm. And your demon is Kohav. Excellent. Alright, catch you later. See ya. Hi, Nathan. Hello, Ben. So, uh, you learn that your fellow minion is Matt. Okay. And your demon is Kohav. Okay. Alright, good luck. Thank you. Hi, Kohav. Hi, Ben. So, uh, you wake up and you learn that your minions are Matt and Nathan. Oh, I was going to pick Matt. He was going to pick Matt. Well, you still can. Um, and your bluffs are Poppy Grower. I knew that wasn't... A okay. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, that's a good point, actually. We'll give you another one, shall we, since you know that's not in. Uh, okay, uh, we'll give you Philosopher. Oracle. And Heretic. Oh, there isn't a Heretic. I can't just... Kill my host. <laughs> I'm afraid that's not. Actually, no. That's actually really valuable information. It, it is a pretty valuable. You've got, like, I would say some of the best night one bluffs of any demon ever. Because you've basically got four bluffs, plus you know how to solve the game, unlike everyone else in it. Yeah, that's. If I wanted to be playing for evil, those would be amazing bluffs. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> it's going to be good. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I can't. Do you want my pick now? No, no, no. I'll come back to you. Uh, but what I okay. will, what I will tell you though, is that um, Ed is the king. Why? That's right. The Queen of England has died, and through an obscure uh, inheritance system, it turns out that Ed is actually the next in line. Why is? Ed, the role that solves the game, Ben. <laughs> well, I mean, Ed, Ed is always the role that solves the game, right? We had a game earlier no, on where I got one night of incorrect empath info and game. still solved it. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, good luck and I'll catch you later. Thank you. 
So, gambling, it's time to Hello drink there. some grog. Who do you want to drink with? Uh, yo ho, yo ho, a bottle of rum for me, and I think I'll drink with my neighbour, Ed. Your neighbour, Ed, okay. Mm-hmm. All right. What could possibly you. go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? Okay, we're not going to visit the amnesiac tonight because, um, yeah, we've decided that it's not going to be a, a first night one. Um, so we're going to go straight to the leech. <clears throat> okay, Kohav, now it is time. To do the um, leeching. you know what I should have been doing in between the, your visits is figuring out who I want to pick. <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, I will pick Chris. Okay, Chris, it is. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> What a choice! That it that is quite the quite the pick. Um, yeah. So I mean, if if Kohav can learn that he's the poisoned choir boy, that is gonna cause some serious problems. Um, right. Up next, we've got somebody, the poisoner. Let's go to the poisoner. All right, Matt, I'm back and ready to hear your poisoning. Sorry. That's uh, right. I would like to poison jewels, please. Jewels. Jewels it is. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, okay. Ben. Hello, Duke. Um, who do you want to look at for your crystal ball tonight? I'm thinking... I point the crystal ball towards Kohav, and I point it towards Ed. Kohav and Ed, and you learn that yes, one of them is the demon. Well, shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. All right. Wow, that was that was quite the night one. Okay, nothing else I need to do. Oh, we have a red herring. It's on Chris. It's been, it's been there this whole time. Uh, right, let's wake these guys up. Doesn't feel right coming back to this town square and not having Nikki's uh, questionable vocals as soon as we Ooh. get here. <laughs> Um, so, good morning everyone. The game is afoot. I have been murked and I would like you to solve it. Don't forget that we have a sentinel in play. Uh, and yeah, good luck, have fun. Chris, can we oh, chat? I have yeah, a brief customer that. service announcement before people... Okay. Or Duke can oh, go. On. I'll, I'll let uh, you brief customer okay. service announcement. I'm the king. That's right guys. Unfortunately Ooh. Queen Elizabeth okay. II has passed away in the night. And it I'm throwing it early. Oh, hang on a minute, I'm it's muted. Yeah, yep. I'm not even going to try the joke now because I said it while I was muted. It's just not going to be the same. <laughs> Let's hear oh, it again. I had this whole thing about Queen Elizabeth perishing and through some weird uh, like quirk of the British legal system, Ed is now was next in line or something. But it's yeah, the moment's gone. It's not the same. It's fine. We'll, we'll watch it back. I'm sure yeah. it'll be fine. I've given you the, the, all the different bits of that joke. You just construct it in your mind and then move on with your day. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do the work on actually being, you know, funny. Um, <laughs> who, would like, who would like a chat about the thing? So sorry. I'll talk. Uh, Ed, could we talk about your monarchy? Because I think of you're course. going to be a just ruler, and uh, I would like to support you. Sounds good. Uh, Father Benjamin, would you like a chat? Uh, well, can we have a chat? Sure, lead the way. Um. I'm going to bluff uh, Amnesiac to some people, so... Oh, okay, you. yep, yep. Good shout, good shout. We should probably... Uh... I'll tell you what, actually, I'm going to run into the other room and get a drink, so um, you can... Uh... Actually, no, I won't off whenever I want. Then, Yeah, then I'll just leave, leave chat in a room with no one talking, so yeah. But anyway, I think this this filibustering has been enough, right? That's probably about the right amount of time. Yeah, probably. All right, cheers. Cheers. 
Oh. Hello. Right. I'm gonna um, grab a drink. Do you wanna trade any sort of amount of rolls? Uh, how many do you do information? Um. I'm good with three. Okay, I will tell you that I am the fortune teller, the town crier, or the philosopher who has not used their ability yet. Okay, and I'll tell you I'm either the general, the acrobat, or the amnesiac. Okay, so you are a potential outsider anyway. Yeah. Wow. Well, outsider slash townsfolk. Yeah. Because if you die, then that can help give us information. Mm hmm. Um, if you are the amnesiac, are you interested in getting together later and uh, working through your amnesiac info with me? Sure. Yay. I will say. Uh, I am the amnesiac I was woken last night. Ooh, fun. Okay, well, I won't push I'm not hard on say that. more than that, yeah. Yeah. Right but yeah, uh, I think we should get together later and work on amnesiac stuff, if that's what you are, because I think amnesiac is an incredibly fun role. It is, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Here's hoping I die in the night. <laughs> uh, where can we go? Let's go and see what Nadine is up to. Um, the the I walked in on Chris, and Chris said Duke was saying to Chris, "If that happens, I'll let them know." Like, what it could happened? be. Like, you I don't know. Someone's you, chat. No, no. I walked back into the town square, and they were still talking, Something. and maybe they were referring to them. Uh, Jules, maybe he was talking about them as in plural, as in multiple evil people. People are starting to get in the habit of just going them, like for anyone. Like it's true, and also right. technically, if two people are, if two people are evil and chatting, they can't really be talking about two other evil people because there's only three. So I'm just being paranoid. You uh, are because really? you're all legion. No, and I'm, alone. Legion and I'm I'm good, and I'm paranoid though. <laughs> um. I mean, you're the third legion. Okay, good luck. I'm gonna go hide in town. Alright. Ben, seeing as you're here, can I catch you? Yeah, do you want to make a guess? Uh, I mean, I don't know anything at this point, <clears> but uh, let me just ask, does my ability um, act on a trigger? You are like, cold. Does something needs to happen. Okay. Cool, thank you. Alright, no worries. So yeah, for uh, for those of you who haven't seen the Amnesiac before, uh, we've created an ability for them, and every day Dean will come and guess what she thinks her ability is, and she'll either be very cold, cold, warm, very warm, or bingo, basically. Uh, once she's got it, we're obliged to tell her that she's got it, and yeah, that's that's the Amnesiac. Yeah. Um, so what I told, I've only spoken with one person. What I told them was fortune teller, town crier, or Philo, who hasn't used their ability yet. Nice. So, yeah, that's fun. Yeah, uh, because you'll probably be getting some claims from people. Um, if you want to get back with me later about which way you think would be best for me to bluff, uh, yeah. let me know. Sounds good. Uh, yeah, sounds good. All right. All Cheers, right, maybe. thanks. Ed is the only person who will know that I am a saint, at least at this point. Okay. I will bear that in mind. Hey. Good timing. I thought... No. I thought <laughs> the sound of you joining was the sound of Alejo leaving. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. You Have you been drinking, Kohav? No. <laughs> I live alone, so I don't really drink. <laughs> oh, right, okay. Fair enough. Wow, well, that makes me feel like an alcoholic when you say that. It's like, I live alone, so I enjoy also... many, many nights on booze alone. 
<laughs> yeah. I don't like the person I become when I drink. You know how I never <laughs> shut up? Like, normally? Like, I really don't shut up. Well, then, <laughs> if, you, if you live alone, that's perfect, right? Problem solved. Not, not great for a clock tower when there's a bunch <laughs> of other people playing the game who oh, want to talk. Fair enough. Well, I'll let you get back to not, not shutting up to other people. Uh, that's certainly no. possible. Very likely... Like, Demon knows King's not in play. So, yeah. a yes on Ed if it's not a Vortox game. Uh, for it, chat's benefit, uh, Duke's told me he's the fortune teller with a yes on Kohav and Ed, and we're discussing what that could mean. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so... I'm hoping, Van, you don't have us in, in some sort of Legion game. Uh, well, there is a roughly one-third chance that I do, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, okay. So, now that... I mean, Matt really kind of calmed me down. He's just saying that Vortox exists, possibly. So, I'm feeling a lot better. Too. Like, I've, I'm not eliminating anything here. I'm just... Yeah. There's a lot of possibilities still. Correct. And then there's the question of if it's a heretic game, do we actually want to kill the demon? Correct. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, I'm just going to, you know, I'm probably going to pick Alejo and Jules again, or Alejo and Gambling. Uh, is there anyone that you think I should pick? So you said Kohav and Ed, right? Yeah, Kohav and Ed were the first two. You don't want to narrow down which one the S came from? Sure. I can pick uh, Alejo you... and Ed then. I'm just, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, I'll it's do my really worth, worth narrowing down which of them you're getting a ping on, so that when we work yeah. out if it's a Vortox or not, we then know what that means. Mm -hmm. Sounds good, buddy. Hi, right, Nathan. Oh. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. This is me feigning amnesiac. Ah, of uh, course. Questioning, yeah. Given amnesiac in, like. Two or three threes and, and a two to Ed. Um, Have so. you thought about what if you if you can uh, get away with the bluff? Have you thought well, about what you might say your ability is? Well, I'm already a bit restricted because I told Navian that I woke last night if I'm the Amni. Um, I told Gambling that if I'm the Amni, I'm still not very close to figure out what my ability is so let's say if i woke last night i'll say i got a number okay and yeah and um i don't know i'm still thinking about what i don't know what i would like have my ability be it might be something related to alignment changing or droids in. Those are probably stuff that would come more easily to me than being able to convince. So I probably, I would probably ask if it's alignment uh, changing related today. Fair enough. And yeah. Well, do you, do I, have a look at the script and that, I, see I what things can change alignment? Because um, yeah, I don't yep. think there's much, if, if any at all, in this script that can change alignment. Oh, then oh, then I'll pursue a different plan of action. <laughs> Thank you for. <laughs> no worries. All right, I'm going to bring everyone back now. Okay. All right, welcome back, everyone. Welcome back. Um, I'll give you a couple of minutes to chat, and then we'll open nominations. Okay. Anyone have anything they want to say? I'm afraid. That's that's all. I really have. I want kind of want to say. Just today. Happened. Just today, I've heard suggestions that it is a Vortox game, a Legion game, and a Leech game from different people. Excellent. Well, we should be killing someone today, right? As much as I don't think I trust any of you, I think it'd be less fun to have a Legion game. I think it's going to be Vortox or Leech. And Nadine made an interesting point of it being Leech Puppy Grower. And I'm just trying to work out what would be most fun to put on a stream. What would be most entertaining? Oh, go by that. Leech Puppy you poison yeah. you, you, you're hosting Minion without knowing, right? I've done Leech Puppy Grower, it was funny. And like the goblin, the goblin tries to get themselves killed, and then they're just Oof. the leech host. <laughs> oh, that is so sad. And it turns out to be a heretic game anyway, and they win. Yes. 
<laughs> oh. I mean, I suppose if it's a Poppy Grower game, then it might not be a terrible idea for a demon to have, uh, Leech to have picked one of their neighbors with the hopes that, that maybe they've, if they are hitting a minion, it would be a marionette who's already That's poisoned true. anyway, so it'd be less of a potential loss. That's Although, why is they being saying that? <laughs> <laughs> Although I'm also throwing it out there that um, if you look at this script and you think, think about how many of these characters you think you're going to be able to tell a leeched or not. King, tricky. General, tricky. Balloonist, tricky. Sailor, tricky. Fortune teller, you might be able to tell if they're leeched. Um, Oracle, tricky. Well, Town crier, tricky. Sailor is pretty easy because they'll want to test themselves, right? And then <laughs> they just die and win. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it depends if they're worried about it being a leech game and being thought of as the leech. So is there a sailor who wants to test themselves out there? A sailor who doesn't die, of course, is going to be just enormously suspicious, which is pretty funny. Nominations are open. I mean, that's not horrible. Uh, I feel I... like... Oh, go ahead. We, the, so, since there's so many good roles in this script, I feel like our best shot, other than, like, social reads today, is... A shot in the dark, I guess. I don't know. People can have different don't opinions. We always if take they want. one of Well, if someone survives execution, then we know for a fact that they're not the person we need to execute to win. Whether the sailor or leech doesn't matter. True. Uh, yes. Well, in that yeah. case, gambling nominates gambling. Okay, tell us why you are gambling with your life. Uh, because, you know, um, it's a pirate's life for me, Yahar. Okay. That's all I have to say. All right. Uh, 12 living players, six votes required. I'm putting my hand up first. Oh, God, that's loud. We don't need some. Yeah, cool. Good one. I, I dropped my vote there to see if other votes would drop, to see if it was potentially a Legion game and I was the good oh, player. Vote. That's oh, oh. no one changed their votes, so that's a good Six sign that off. it's not a Legion game. I did. Oh, yeah, if it reassures you, Matt, I have spoken to five people and got five completely unique claims, so unlikely to be Legion. Alejo nominates Duke. Alejo nominates Duke. Tell us why. Um, no, nothing solid or mechanical, but I've heard something uh, which might point to them as being in a double claim. Um, as in, they've claimed a couple of roles which have been sort of hinted at by other players. Okay, Duke. Um, cool. So, Alejo, uh, I'm sure as you know, there's plenty of reasons that uh, good folks will lie and will uh, not claim their true roles. That is all I have to say. Okay. Six on gambling. Seven is the number to acquire. As a counterpoint to your statement that openly claiming king like that means that if it is a legion game, you are the best point person for a legion. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So if it is legion, Ed saying he's got five different roles does not help whatsoever. Three yeah, is in no, not enough. Sorry. We know, we know <laughs> it's Legion. Ed is probably Legion. That's what we know. Richie nominates Ed. You know he's Ed. the ringleader. Richie nominates Ed. Richie, tell us why. Uh, all hail the king. Long live. Well, no, not long live the king. <laughs> Short the live the king. Down with the king. Or, as the case may be, outlive the king if you're Richie. Um, Ed, you have anything to say in your defense? Uh, no. He's so guilt-ridden. Oh, See, he got nothing to say. <laughs> he sounded absolutely <laughs> devastated then when he said that. Shocking. <laughs> Shocking behavior. <laughs> All right, you know the score. Seven required. I'll be brutally honest. If I had to guess someone who was going to nominate me day one when I claimed king, it was going to be you, Richie. So <laughs> Richie's never played for the good team in his life, as far as I can tell. He has. He's just not seemed like it until <laughs> exactly. That's the final saying. day. <laughs> From my perspective, in every game that I've played in with Richie, he's never been on the good team. Um, right, so we've still got Gambling on the block with six. Any other nominations? Uh, before there are any more nominations, I'll point out there's a town crier on the script, so... Three is good. We had three, right? Yep, that's why I nominated. Yep. Which is fine. I heard of a town crier from 
one of three, four people. Pretty good. Okay. Um, gambling is executed and doesn't die. Everyone goes to sleep. Oh, boy. Hey. All right, that was huge. What what an opening. I think we can I think we can reasonably say that this is not going to be boring from this start. Uh, right, so uh, gambling didn't die. So the cannibal uh, doesn't get anything tonight, but Nadine does get something. I'm just going to run Nadine's ability in the night order according to this. I don't really think it really matters a great deal when she goes. Uh, I'm fine for her to go before the demon. Uh, I don't think that's a big deal. I'll be surprised if she guesses it, to be honest. I think it's going to be quite a difficult one. Um, let's go see gambling. Hello, gambling. I'm not a fan of this. Now we can explore gambling for <laughs> I was going to say, you, like... you're looking forward to being assumed to be the leech for the entire game now. Yes! <laughs> I'm ready to go. This is going to be great. All right, who's um, going to pick tonight? Uh, okay. I, 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 want, I want to think about whether I want to... I'm never going to be executed again, so I'd rather try and actively get people drunk. Um, I'd like to drink with Richie. Richie it is. Lovely, thank you. Good evening, Nadine. Good evening. So, uh, if you'd be so kind, please choose a player. Okay, I'd like to choose Richie. You would like to choose Richie. The answer is yes. Okay. All right, see you later. Thank you. So, for those of you who don't know, uh, Nadine's amnesiac ability is each night except the first, select a player. You learn if they are susceptible to death right now. Of course, Richie is susceptible to death right now. At this moment, there are only two players in this circle who are not susceptible to death. Ooh. Up next, we've got Le Poisonneur. Hello, Hello, Matt. Who do you want to pick? Uh, I'm going to pick Duke, please. You're going to pick Duke? All right. Thanking you. No problems. Hello. All right. Hello, Kohav. It's your first kill of the game. Who's it going to be? Well, so this is really weird because Jules claimed Poppy Girl to me. I know there's no Poppy Girl. I don't know what Jules is doing. <laughs> anyway. Um, let's kill, um, there's no empath, okay, let's kill Nadine. Nadine it is. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, that's that's kind of disappointing. Uh, I mean, to be fair, uh, we could, if we want to, change Nadine's ability to be something to do with not being able to die or something, but I think we probably shouldn't, really, um, because at the end of the day, uh, someone's got to die, right? Some, someone's got to die in the night. Um, there's no point fiddling with it later on in the game. Um and also, you know, you gotta you gotta be at least somewhat honest, right? <laughs> so yeah, we will sadly have Nadine perish. Um, so we now move on. No choir boy stuff to do. No farmer stuff to do. So it's over to Duke, who we're probably going to lie to. Hello, Duke. Uh, Ben. Hey, 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 who do you want to look at tonight? Uh, we're going to check, um, I kind of want to check Gambling and Ed, but if Gambling is the leech, uh, I'll do it. I'm going to check Gambling and Ed. So, you look at Gambling and Ed and you learn that, da 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 yes, one of them is the demon. Oh boy. 
All right, thanks. Thanks for the sub, Game Cupboard. Thank you, Ben, for another awesome game. You are more than welcome, my friend, and I will hopefully see you guys at the UKGE for some more in-person games, if you'll be getting yourselves down there. Um, right, I think we're done now. I think that's the night done, right? Nothing else left to do, no king stuff uh, to do. So let's wake everybody up and break the news to Nadine. Good morning, everybody. You awake to a rather fetid smell. It is sadly the new desiccated corpse of Nadine. Died in the night. Rip. Oh, that's unfortunate. Bad. That is rough, actually. Which one were you, Nadine? I can't remember which order I gave them to you in, so we can go chat if you want. Uh, uh, Richie, would you like to talk? Uh, Matt, uh, Chica? Whoever? Uh, yes. Shoyed. Whoops. Alejo, do we want Hello, can you hear me? I can. Cool. Um, I think we both broke up as we joined and Discord went, do I make this UK or Australia? Um, Australia. Always Australia. If in doubt. Um, yeah, how are we doing? You right? Uh, yeah, I'm alright. Um, at this point, I figure you are probably not a minion. Fair. Um, so, I think you'd be either legion, legion or a demon. Um, you could be any, any demon. You could be legion. Yeah. Or you could be a king. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. Um, so, uh, you tell me what you're happy to tell me, and I will try and give you anything useful, depending on what you give me. All right, I'll give you three rolls. Cool. Um, I am either the oracle, the poppy grower, or the acrobat. Cool. Those are a nice, disparate group of rolls. Um, and I don't think... No, I've got nothing that can help you with any of those, unfortunately, um, okay. from the claims I've had. So, cool. That's good. Aren't you going to claim three yeah. rolls, Ed? That's not a very equitable exchange. <laughs> he claimed four rolls. He claimed Legion, Vortox, Leech, or King. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. All right. Cheers, Matt. See you in a bit. Cheers. I feel like it's uh, one of those rolls that suffers from being online a bit. Anyway, chat's here. Hi, chat. We should probably talk hey, about chat. something about this yes. game and oh, hello, not game. the double snake charming game. <laughs> cool. Do you want to do a three for three? Uh, yeah, sure. Cool. I'm either the cannibal, the saint, or the oracle. Hang on. I gotta find your name on my list here. I am north. Okay. Cannibal, saint, or what? Oracle. Uh, if you are the oracle, what number would you have gotten? Zero. Okay. So I will tell you that I am either the fortune teller, the town crier, or the philosopher. Ooh, okay. Cool. If you're the philosopher, have you used your ability yet? Yes, but I am not going to reveal what into or when. Fair enough. Yeah, just okay. Yet. That's that's perfectly fine. I will right. tell you it is none of the things on the three that you gave me. So if I am the philosopher, you do not need to worry about being drunk from me. Okay. That is good to know. Cool. All right, thanks. thanks. See you back. Bye. Ed, but I don't want to say that like super hard. It's like that, but... that feels like a statement. That, like that's a pride before the fall statement. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> but okay, if he hasn't solved the game by day five, we'll suss and him. He's, he's probably evil. Um, yeah. I, I'm willing to give you one piece of information. Um, okay. There is a chance that the evil team uh, did not know that Ed was the king day one. Okay. I will put drunk next to Ed. Mm -hmm. um, otherwise, there's a chance that it is actually a Legion game um, and I successfully drunk to Legion, in which case, woo, good for me. Good for you. It just means that that Legion can vote, I believe. And their uh, vote counts. I don't think so, actually, because no? the, Legion, the Legion ability is general. If there is a single Legion in the game, executions fail if only evil voted. And it doesn't... Oh, just... yeah, you're right, you're right. Yeah, they uh, all need to be drunk. I've played yeah. too many Legion games. Far too many. It's probably my favorite <laughs> um, It is a, a... 
It's a very strong demon. That's all. You're not spooky at all. I, you're not just saying that because you. Just, just out of interest, go have. Um, how many fingers do you have on your right hand? Uh, you know, I, I count them every morning just to make sure it's it's five. Yeah, no, no killing your father in Ego Montoya. Is that uh, is that including your uh, is that including your thumb? I have my pinky finger, my ring finger, my middle finger, my pointer finger, and my thumb. I went and I ah. pointed at each of them as I th- said that, but you couldn't see. <laughs> well, thank you. That's good to know. Okay, cool. All right, we got um, stuff to be getting on with here. Yeah, more people. Yep, 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 yep. Catch you later. I think I've got, uh, I've got just over half of the of claims, and yeah, so those are both free. If you want to keep going with it, cry it is. Cool. See you in a bit. The king will always look like a demon. Uh, well, they, they look like a potential demon because they it's a role they know isn't in play. Yeah, I concur, Sam. Yeah, I could see, I could see Ed as red herring. Yeah. Cool. Um, is there any any information you want to exchange about other folks? Um, um, I've had three for threes, a fair bit of overlap, but not in a, an immediately legiony way. Um, yeah, nothing, nothing stands out yet. Okay. Uh, Alejo claimed two rolls to me that uh, actually, actually, this is just coming like how bad that is. He claimed two rolls. He claimed your roll. And he claimed Amnesiac, which is also claimed by someone else. Ooh, so he uh, claimed to me, uh, they, sorry, they claimed to me Town Crier Amnesiac at Quebec. Hello again, hey Nathan. Hey, Ben. I, this is still an Amni bluff. Yep. Um, yep. And I do know that uh, I'm locked into having asked yesterday, do I detect droids and God? No. I'm not yet locked into. Well, I I am locked into having woken the first two nights, but I'm not locked into what I saw. Yet I'm still thinking about that. So. Okie dokie. You're gonna you're gonna roll with you you being an information roll then. Uh, I have acrobat that I can fall back on if things don't. <laughs> okay. Go well. but, yeah. All okay. right. Good stuff. See you back in town square. And I think that's probably about enough time for today. Just get these guys back. Nathan, can we check? No, I don't you think not. Here we are, back in the town square, I don't... everyone. Nadine, I don't think it's a Legion game, but for now, no. Two minutes, and yeah, then we'll open nominations. We it's a Legion game. This is Legion. So... I like her that it's not a Legion game. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, it's not a Le- I know it's not a Legion. <laughs> Can we ask yes, a and- question, guys, based on a popigra and a philo popigra? Go for it. Or a Voltox in a popigra game. If, the, if a drunk popigra, <laughs> a, a turn drunk popigra dies, the evil team learn bad roll, bad information. No, because the ability can't affect someone else. Because they're still no. a sober so, poppy grower. Yeah, I mean, the, mm-hmm. the moment... Yeah, the, no is basically the answer to that. Uh, Ed summed it up for you. So if there's a philo poppy grower and a poppy grower who's now drunk because of the philo, is that a useful thing for the philo to do, or is that a terrible idea? It depends. On As this conversation one. goes on, I kind of just want to kill Richie. <laughs> uh, I'll, just, I'll just keep quiet. I'll just keep quiet. Sorry. sorry, sorry. I, I do. I, like I do have a relevant question. Here's some problem. ideas, sorry. evil team. I, 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 <laughs> seriously though, no, like. Um, does anybody have any information on the points of it being a Vortos game? Because I've heard of no less than three claims of Poppy Grower, and if any of them are real and it's a Vortos game, getting you dead could be very funny. As I said yesterday, I have heard a suggestion of each demon, and the suggestion of Vortox did come with a reason for that, but I don't want to share what that reason was. Okay. I've what heard of the Oracle elite suggestion for. I've heard of some evidence which points to um, Vortox or Legion, no, but that's it really. I My feel like the, the Legion is, is gambling right now. 
Uh, Cassie, I'm really suspicious of Nathan based on our conversation and the claims they gave me. Uh, one of them is hard claimed elsewhere, and the other one just doesn't feel like something you'd claim. It's an outsider. Mm. Nominations oh. are open. I've heard a lot of generals in three for threes. Interesting. Duke will start off the bat with nominating Alejo for death. All right, Duke, tell us why I've chosen Alejo. Yeah, so there's no witch, so I feel feel safe. Um, but the claims that Alejo have given me are both hard claimed by uh, a few other folks. Two, actually, because Alejo and I swapped twos. Um, and then talking with someone else, uh, it appears that the another role that they gave the other person uh, might be in play already as well. So I think Alejo is uh, either lied to me straight up, which is take it as you want, or Alejo is uh, caught in some claims. Okay, um, Nathan, you're out of your seat, and Alejo, your defense. Uh, my response to that, Duke, would be no, you. What is like, Duke in a double claim? Everything that Duke just said to me is also true of Duke. I gave you two rolls, correct, yeah. Alejo? Yeah. Interesting, because I'm pretty sure I actually gave you one of my real ones. Or my real one. Yeah. Okay, six required. Here we go. I think this is a bad idea. But, but Alejo, here, here's the thing too, is that the one of the rolls you gave me was, was only... That was in the same as a three for three as you gave to someone else. That like that role that the same between those two is hard claimed by someone else. Six is enough. Okay. Right. Uh, so that's, that's my. Aleha, did you tell me the truth in our whisper? I cannot remember, Kohab, but probably not. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say you probably told me the truth because you gave me a reason why you were lying to other people. Fair enough. Um, and say that yeah, this probably isn't a good call. But I told you the truth, cries. Uh, uh, Ed, all sorry, of... I think we had a nomination there from Alejo. What do you say? Uh, I'm going to nominate Duke because I'm pretty sure that Duke uh, also gave me uh, a couple of lies. Um, and as Ed says, uh, I'm a bad kill. Okay, Duke. Uh, Alejo, do you still have the claims that I gave you written down somewhere? Oh, I've liked pretty there? much everyone. Um, yeah, I think I have the claims you gave me. Uh, we can talk about it tomorrow if you like, but for now, I just sure. want to get blocked because I do not think I should be executed today. Okay. Um, I mean, neither do I. So uh, I think almost all, everyone but the farmer uh, or acrobat kind of really doesn't want to, doesn't really want to die. So um, I'm not the farmer nor the acrobat people, so don't kill me. Thanks. Okay. That checks out. You claim not farmer or acrobat to me. So we've got six on Alejo, seven if you wish to execute Duke. Incidentally, has anybody heard of any outsiders? Yep. I oh. have not. As a matter of fact. I've heard potentially two, one of which, you know, two, one hard claimed. Two is not enough. Any other nominations? Uh, only because I'll just regret if I don't do this. Richard nominates Ed. I love you, Richie. All right, tell us why. Uh, down with the king. <laughs> also, also town prior check. Okay, Ed. Uh, fine. <clears throat> okay, seven required. Richie, are you going for the I nominate the demon every day and nobody listen to me play? <laughs> Uh, no, that's nothing... that's very easy if it's a legion game. <laughs> that's the thing. It's like, it feels like a cop out if it is a legion game. It doesn't really count for much. So two's not enough. Any other nominations? I'll nominate. Uh, I'll nominate, nominate. Okay, I think oh, I God. think Chris was just in there before. What? Who did you choose, Chris? Hey, um, Nathan. But I'll hand the accusation to Nadine. Okay, go for it, Nadine. So Nathan gave me two rolls. Um, I'm just going to out them. They might not. If he's neither of these, then we might be okay. But he's given me acrobat or amnesiac. I can see why this is not. Um, so I, I was the amnesiac. I might as well just come out with it. Uh, Nathan is sticking to those two. He is the acrobat. I mean, we can we can wait, but at any point he might die, which is riskier. So I think he might be a good kill. Now. Okay, Nathan. Uh 
my defense is that my true role has not been any in any ones, twos, or threes to anyone, and I really don't want to die right now, so I'm claiming goblin. Okay, <laughs> Nathan claims goblin. Here we go. Heretic, we might win immediately. I don't think it can be <laughs> goblin. Uh, I no, still don't no. want to vote on that right now. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, not today. Uh, Gambling, yeah. have you found a new drinking buddy? Because I think it's Nathan. I think I've found a new drinking enough. buddy. Uh, I wouldn't. No. I wouldn't. Gambling. Uh, There's no point. There's gambling. No, way of us... no, no. Gambling nominates Richie. Okay, tell us why you've chosen Richie. Uh, first off, I can't mess with tanker information i'm definitively either the demon or a townsfolk so that's cool mm -hmm. uh, and i might use that going forward i'd quite like to kill myself but relevant to this specific nomination um richie's my host okay richie i'm so sad right now <laughs> <laughs> all right seven required I don't actually want Richie dead, I'm just voting because he keeps nominating me. I kind of think gambling is setting a new meta on what Out of the Evil counts as. Four is not enough. <laughs> Constructive well, is, ambiguity. Final call. I feel, it's the I feel quite like he's playing Out of Evil as a good player. Which yeah, is it's just ambiguity. It's, it's the worst. It's like you don't know. It really is. Alejo it. is executed and dies. The game continues. Everyone goes to sleep. Gambling's not the leech. Oh no, I pressed the wrong button. No, I, I know. Oops. I know. Didn't mean to I've press that I've got it. Ah. Uh... Oh, we're good. I thought I'd balked the, uh, the bot for a moment there. I think I may have done. Nope, no, I haven't. We're good. Okay. Uh, alright. I'm sure those guys will get into a cottage eventually. Okay, cool. Um, right, so interestingly, um, Richie is currently drunk, but as long as gambling doesn't pick him again, he will become undrunk in time for the leech to attack him, in which instance he would have the farmer's ability. So if he dies tonight... Someone can become a farmer, which will be very interesting. Yeah, I think I'd probably make Jules the farmer in that instance, but oh, let's find out what happens. First things first, though, uh, let's go see who gambling picks. Hello, gambling. Who do you want to okay. pick? Okay, okay, okay. Got so many Philo claims. I don't understand this game anymore. Um, <laughs> like, like half of the left hand of the town is just saying, "Yeah, I'm the Philo Papa girl. What, what of it? Uh, I would like. I'd really like to do is find an acrobat neighbor and like hard confirm myself, but that's not going to happen. So I'm going to target Matt and see what happens. Matt, it is. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so I've seen a question in chat there. Um, if you're drunk, is it guaranteed that your ability doesn't work, or is it up to the ST? Um, if a drunk or poison player cannot have an effect on the state of the board, but they can be shown true information. So, um, for example, if a, um, a, a player who kills someone, or a player who resurrects someone, or something like that, if they're drunk or poisoned, their ability does not work, full stop. Um... However, a player who learns things in the night, you can give them true information if you want to. Nine times out of ten, you probably shouldn't. But sometimes uh, you might feel like the good team are getting so badly hammered that you want to help them. And also, sometimes the truth is less useful than a lie. Uh, so, yeah, those are times when you might do that. Um, <clears throat> drunking the Poisoner, oof, why? I don't know. Um, I kind of want to make it so that gambling can't die, so that people still think he's the potentially the leech, but I'll tell you what, we'll wait to see who Matt chooses before we make that decision, because we can. Because we're going to go speak to him right now.
<clears throat> Hello, Matt. Hey, dude. Hey, uh, I'll be poisoning Duke. You'll be poisoning Duke. All right. Thank you. Yeah, we we kind of need that to remain as is, right? So let's <laughs> let's do that for tonight. Um, okay, it's it's Kohav now. Hello, Kohav. Hello. This is your moment. Who do you want to pick? Um, I'm gonna pick Navian, the amnesiac. Navian the Amnesiac. Okay. Thank you. All live. Hello. This is rough, Ben. It really is. Um, I'm gonna go pick Chris, who I've confided my trust in. Yep. And Nate. Nathan. Yeah, Nathan and Chris. Nathan and Chris, and you learn that, yes, one of them is the demon. Okay. All right. Oh, man. All Cheers, right. Duke. So. Okay. Um, so, actually, that poisoning on Duke really didn't do anything tonight. Um, so, I'm just going to... I'd like. I'd like it to be that gambling can't die, so I'm just going to go ahead and decide that that's what happened given that mechanically it makes no difference um, but I really, really want that sailor, I really want people to want to try and double tap the sailor and still not get the kill off um, that's everything for tonight oh, really good that um, that Kohav didn't go for Richie, but like, why would you when he's being, he's Richie, right? he's, a, he's always a demon candidate so Duke got a yes um, tonight, but he picked Chris, who is his red herring. Yeah. Okay. Right. Let's let's wake these guys up. Guten Morgen. Navian is no longer with us. Praise. Oh, rip. The saint is dead. Nice. Congrats. Good stuff. Uh, Duke, chat. Uh, who's that, Leo? Mm. All right, so you claim to me farmer and sailor. Oh, yeah, sorry. Definitely lied to you. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely a sailor, and I'm a farmer. I see. Uh, I also I... lied to you. Oh, that's fine. Oh, you say what you really are? Palmer. Ah, exciting. Um, I oh, died in the night, but alas, yeah. It's not. Um, yeah. Sorry, I, I that was like the one thing I was kind of hoping you weren't, because farmer actually has some use, I guess. Uh, okay. So, I guess I'll just let you know. I'm the fortune teller. Uh, I've been getting yeses every night. Um, okay. so I'm interested. I, I know it's not a leech. Um, unless the leech happens to be Ed, because I've checked Ed every night, but last night, uh, and I, but I, and I hit my red herring last night. So that's the only way I think it would be a leech. But I think it's, I think it's Vortox Land, um, or possibly Legion Land. But I'm sorry. Tell the leaving... question. Sorry. Tell the question. Um, if there is a fortune teller and a Vortox. Um, would the uh, red herring register as a yes or a no? He's gone for a piss, hasn't he? Yeah, he is. Oh, well. Um, we'll ask him later. Chat, can you remind Ben to, to, I don't know, join one of our conversations later? Yeah, Thanks, just chat. like, just tell him to drag us together or something. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, chat. You're the best. Uh, yeah, no, chat. I Tell one of us the answer. Uh, get Ben to tell one of us the answer, and then we can just say to the other either yes or no. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. All right. Cheers, Duke. All right. Later, Leo. Have have fun in an empty so, cottage. Sorry chat. for getting you. Sorry for getting you killed there. Uh, oh, that's fine. But 
But yeah, no, uh, you gave me Amnesiac and Choir Boy, and both of those are hard yeah. claimed. And then, I lied to everyone. Yeah, fair. Okay. Except that. Vibe. <laughs> okay, well that's good. You confided in someone. I lied to sure. everyone except for Chris. Sure. Benny, you back? Okay, nope, let's go. Guess not. All right, later chat. You and Ed, because... Yeah, I know. Yeah, this is easing my Legion fears, um, this conversation. Uh, so... I mean, I'm, I'm happy it's not Legion, because I died night one, and you wouldn't kill off a good player like that, so... I'm you happy it's not Legion, so... Okay, unless Ben's just done that to make us all think it's not Legion. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> but no, I was, I was like, I didn't vote on anything day one. I was like, I'm paranoid it's Legion. But, yeah, yeah. I... Hello. Hey, Alejo, Hello. did you have a question for me? Uh, I did. Can we... Yeah, can we do that after this conversation? Yeah, sure. Or if you want, I can hop out and then I can come back in after Ben... Uh, yeah, sure, that's also fine. Yeah, okay, I'll come back. Uh, yeah, so question uh in a game with a vortex and a fortune teller um does the uh, fortune teller get a yes or a no off their red herring they get a no because the red herring always registers as the demon okay the so the fortune teller's red herring trumps the vortex's false info yeah that's that's exactly it yeah All right, cheers that's it All right no worries Um, uh, okay, I, I feel like I've told, like, everyone this at this point. I'm the philosopher, um, but I've, nice. I've kept it pretty close to the chest what I did. Okay. You've already done something, though. I so did it. Like I did okay. it immediately. Yeah. First night. Okay, there's no snake charmer, so you've not done something silly, I hope. Well, okay, there is... There is politician, but I didn't do it. I promise I didn't do it. Mm. Okay, if you say so. I don't know how Listen, much chaos you if, want. If I was philo politician, would I claim philo? No, I wouldn't. I would claim bullshit. Yeah, but no, you still have philo as a, as a good fallback, right? Because that makes you seem smart since Helen spoke key. Okay, that's fair, but... And then you just pick a different thing to actually be, or claim to be. I... I like solving the game too much to go politician. Okay. Uh, I can believe. So I would be like that as well. Me. Okay, uh, have you figured out if you're making someone drunk or something? Because I've got almost like a full grim at this point. Um, I think I found the person I would be drunking if I would be drunking someone. Okay. Cool. Do you not want to say more? Like, it would be helpful, um, but I appreciate if you don't. Um, I love trusting the first night okay. death. Yeah, Legion is anyone. freaking with my brain. Have you um, told any, anyone? I, like, Jules knows what I did. Okay, right. Um, so, cool. No, no, just like, it's basically so, like, when it comes to, like, yeah. day six, it's not like you making up the story. And Ed has, so. Ed has three that I might have done. Um, All right. It doesn't have to be me, just basically someone yeah, who yeah. so then it's okay. not like Dory is built up later on kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. Um... Yeah. Ugh. All right. <laughs> I need to know more things. Alrighty, I'll leave you to it then. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, sorry that you missed the No Walls Bar game. That might be because I'm terrible at time zones. <laughs> I, uh, my initial time that I gave for it was incorrect, but I, I corrected it in the in a response to that tweet and did a new tweet about it. So, but yeah, but um, in about an hour or something, when this game finishes, you'll be able to rewind right to the No Walls Bar game and watch the whole thing. And it was pretty interesting, if I do say so myself. I think you'll enjoy it. You think you've got the fortune teller ability? Yeah. And so on, um, but yeah. So I'm thinking Matt's a good hit. Like the Oracle's reasonable, but um, a one on someone we're pretty sure is good socially means that he could be a uh, it could be a Vortex game. He could also just be a leech target, and he's also got a combination of claims with Nathan and Poppy Grow, which is obviously the easiest min uh, minion bluff in the world. Cool. All right. Fair. That's my thought. But yeah, let's see. Bye. Bye. Cheers, Rich.
Uh, if we've got time. So, uh, I don't I know. If I wouldn't plan team. anything big. Because everyone's coming back. <laughs> it's coming home. All right. Welcome don't back, everyone. Uh, give you a couple of minutes, then we'll open nominations. Nine living players. Uh, Nathan, question. Yeah. Uh, do you, you lied to me, right? Yes, I lied to everyone before I was nominated yesterday. Okay. That's what I thought. Are you saying after you were nominated, you were telling the truth? Uh, I did not really say anything to anyone of substance since I was nominated yesterday, but I planned you to You claimed tell one role. <laughs> it's pretty important. Um, I, I think the question here is, are you the goblin? Are you going to claim goblin when we nominate you today? If I'm nominated today, I have plans to nominate myself and not claim goblin, actually. But I will claim my role. My true role. Which is? Heretic. Oh. Are you kidding me? Ah! <laughs> oh, jeez. That looks like it doesn't out. help. <laughs> No reason to claim goblin. So if, if I can't he, even kill myself, god damn if it. If he's if he's good, you can't kill yourself. Just just kill the person that is your host gambling. You'll be fine. Heretic. Uh, but, <laughs> uh, that's that's bollocks basically because he, yeah. he's that's he's nonsense. yeah fine. Like, uh, do we have the outside account? There's a sentinel, so oh, yeah. one, yeah. one to three, so yeah. Who knows? Um, I've heard a lot of acrobats. A lot of acrobats. Um, everyone who claimed acrobat in in any number to me has since been narrowed down to a claim. Um, the basically, I'm aware of one. Well, Navian said it publicly. Navian is hard claim sane. Um, there are no other. I've got two people who I don't have hard claims for. There is obviously the potential that one of the people who has hard claimed something to me is actually the politician. But if they are, they've managed to avoid double claiming anyone. Congrats. Nomination so is open. So there aren't any one. double claims. That's very interesting. Before we go to off the deep end with nominations, can I ask if anybody has any believable town cry claims? Don't need names, of course, but. If anybody genuinely believes there is a town crier in, in action, um, I've heard of, I've gotten claims from just about everybody but two people now. Uh, I've not heard town crier claims. Same. Then again, I, Danny, that could be lied to, or it could be those two people. I don't know. I'm basically I'm only missing Duke. So if yeah, I have given me town crier in three threes. I have a rumor of a fellow town crier, but that's it. We could do a Vortox check by having the one player here confirmed who cannot be a, a minion uh, nominate. We kill that person, and like that's our Vortox check. It means basically taking a day off from everybody being able to, being able to nominate, which is oh. rough. Second call. Yeah. But it, if it we've a, heard we, of a town crier, I'd be more comfortable. Wait, so we don't know a nominate or ever a nominate? No, literally no. Just, just, just gambling. Only just gambling, gambling nominate because yeah. yeah. gambling be is not a minion. Yeah. Can you nominate Jules Gambling? If we have an oracle, we should let's already have a card. Let's all decide together who we're going to kill. If we have an oracle, we should, should already one. have a card for a tox check. Because we weren't able to execute anyone on day one. No, but Nadine died that night. Nadine oh, that's true. That that's true, sure. Mm -hmm. Ignore me. Final call. Gambling uh, I, nominates. I think Matt's a good option. What about Nathan? Okay. Gambling nominates no, no, Jules. Okay, gambling. Tell us why you've chosen Jules. Oh, there's, there's no such thing as deferring to the town. Sorry, that was keeping me meaningful. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> um, I have no information. I would. Who was it who asked specifically for Jules? Uh, I did. Uh, Jules asked to speak to Nathan once everyone left the town. I find that highly odd given Nathan's play. I kind of wanted to, I'll be honest, I kind of wanted to either target myself or Nathan, but if there is actual information pointing in the direction of Jules, then... I, I have a reason to trust Jules, but I suspect the town doesn't trust me at this point based on some things I've heard, so I don't know if that helps. Okay, Jules' defense, please. Uh, I, I didn't have anything in my book for Nathan, and I wanted to see what he would claim 
after that public claim after and to see if he would give me any information at all uh and nathan sidestepped and said maybe i'll tell you tomorrow um and it was just a, a way of of trying to pin down somebody who's claiming goblin because that can be many different things he was very very evasive um i i can die it's not a not a big horrible thing but it's not going to help us win okay nine living players five votes required here we go i'm interested to see who will vote on me that's for sure like and it a lot of people who I haven't talked to. I'm primarily voting for the sake of this hard Vortox Town Cry check, but apparently yeah. that's the whole thing. Well, I'm not happen, but four not enough. Okay. I'm not convinced we have a town crier. That's where I'm at. Uh, Ed, yeah. Matt, Matt. Ed, tell us why I've chosen Matt. Uh, really viable uh, leech host. Okay, Matt. Uh, that does make sense. I've also been informed that there are other reasons why my info today is suspect. Um, I am a pretty important role for the town. I would rather be killed at night. I accept that I am a viable leech host, but if I'm a leech host and the leech is gambling, we can wait a little while. Because we already know where the leech is. Okay. Five votes required. I don't think gambling is your leech. They're voting. That's a good. It's actually a good leech. idea to do. We, we um, would like a fifth one. To do this gambling. gambling. Yeah. 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 Five yeah. is enough. I put I no up idea. when Richie put their hand down, but then. Yeah. Nice. I need to. Gambling. Are you having fun? I am having a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> I am very jealous. Final call. This is this is stupid, and I love it. Uh, I will nominate Richie. Okay, tell us why I've chosen Richie. Um, basically that very very suspicious social call on me calling out Nathan because one of the only people left in that in town square, um, and it just seemed really weird. Also, if there is a town car, I want to be I want to be checked because I am good. Okay, Richie. I'm not protecting that. I just I just want to get this statement out. Uh, long live the king. <laughs> okay, uh, six to execute, five to tie. Guys, I have an ongoing info roll. Well, can we kill somebody else, please? We have very little info on this script. Matt, you didn't lie to me, right? Three is not enough. I did not lie to you, Duke. We need okay. me. Um, did you lie to me? I no. Think we could still... kill Nathan. Final call. A panic here? Okay, Matt is executed I'm... and dies. The game continues. Everyone goes to sleep. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's a bit of a blow for the evil team. Um, I'm not sure what Matt's claiming. I'm assuming it's Oracle. I'm assuming it's Oracle. Um, could I could just go ask him? I guess probably for the best, isn't it? It's. I mean, it's got. It's got to be Oracle, right? What else is he going to be choosing? I'm just going to assume that it's Oracle. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna play this like it's a real in-person game where I wouldn't be able to ask him and just assume that it's Oracle. Um, so first. First thing is first, we've got to go to gambling. Hello, who would you like to drink with tonight? This, this is too much fun. Found on them. So sorry. I, I am probably completely screwing my team, but I'm having too much fun. <laughs> I, I, That's I, all the matters, I, right? So I think my two valid options. I'd quite, I, I'm interested in drinking. Yeah, but it's that it's this it's just also my my play. It's just I'm not I'm not playing good right now. I'm tempted to target myself and try and get myself killed to mechanically confirm myself as good. The problem is I'm still not convinced it's not a leap. At which point, 
doing that is just wrong, like horribly wrong, uh, and may even lose us the game. So, as much as I think it would be fantastic to have that mechanically confirmed player to, if we're everyone to like bounce, I've I think I've I should have done that earlier. Should have done that yesterday. So I'm going to target Jules, hope that she's e evil, uh, and if I keep on doing it, possibly you might drunk them for me. So Brilliant. I'm going to All say right. Jules. Thank you. Catch you later. Hope you're having fun too. <laughs> oh, that's very nice of very nice of him to say, isn't it? Um, all right, well, uh, leech now. Hello. Hello. Who would you like to kill tonight? Uh, Duke, please. Duke, it is. Keep I've heard he's the fortune teller from one of my minions, and he's the choir boy from another one of my minions, and both of those things can die. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a that's a no-brainer, right? All right, okay. Um, we're gonna go to Richie now, and I think we'll just give him legit info. Oh, actually, isn't is Matt is probably trying to paint the picture of a um, of a Legion game, right? So let's give him. Let's give Richie a high number. Let's let's give him three. No. There's be five people dead right now, so let's give him a four. That would make it look like a Legion game. There is no reason to have that drunk token on Jules. This is not what the Almanac suggests. What? <laughs> what? <clears throat> The sailor is not an outsider. They should not frame themselves. The the sailor's the powerful part of the sailor's ability is that they might not die, and gambling is made it quite clear that he doesn't want to die. Uh, so this is absolutely um, how their ability should work. In fact, if anything, I'm I'm giving them too much juice. Um, right. Anyway, let's go speak to Richie. He is of course drunk, so he will get. We'll give him a four. Hey, Richie. Hello, hello. You finally get a visit. Uh, and it's for me to come in here and say four at you and then leave. <laughs> Thanks. All right, cheers. <clears throat> Okie dokie. That is our entire night. Wake everybody up. Good morning, everybody. Duke perished a la night. No, one more day and I would have had it solved, I think. That's What's fine. stopping you? Uh, Well, for me, personally, it was, it, the demon is between Richie and Jules. Um, so I'm not the demon, so that's... So... Okay. Going to elucidate? I might as well come out. Uh, I've been the fortune teller this whole time. Uh, of you all lie. the living players, I've gotten yeses on, uh, except I haven't checked Richie and I haven't checked Jules. Um, Excuse me. So I believe that this is a strong Vortox game, and I haven't gotten a no, which, you know, invert it. Um, so I'm thinking Richie or, or Jules or the demon. If we can believe Nathan and we just kill everyone else? Question mark? Uh, we don't believe Nathan. Uh, we believe small. Nathan's a goblin. We, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's no, right. He claimed goblin, didn't he? I apologize. Well, he claimed goblin, then he publicly claimed heretic, which is a little weird as a heretic. Yeah. It's On day three. Duke, Duke had claimed this to me day one, and I had claimed my erotic. Yes. Do we have anything else that does info? Uh, I was the oracle. I got two ones. I was apparently drunk by the sailor at the second one, though. So. Okay, well, that. Uh, so the first yeah. one was when so, the Dean was the only dead player. Me. Yes, which made me think it was Vortox. Yeah. Or. Okay. I was yeah, Leech so, Target. Or Legion. Not, not the Leech. Um, I'll say what I had my 
conversation with Jules yesterday. Um, Jules gave me three roles, and then I asked a question on, you know, what would they have gotten if they were one of them? Um, they seemed prepared with notes or had to take a second to think about it, so either uh, I think Jules is good and, and has notes and took a second to read them, or uh, is evil and had to make something up my thought. I was gonna say I don't think Jules is the demon but if it's a Vortox then it's more uh, more like Great. she will be my lead candidate at the moment what, what did I do uh, well, to be hmm. sus? The people I don't have mostly. any the people I don't have any information on are Richie, Chris and well I haven't talked to Ed but I'm guessing we all believe him I've shared my claims to uh, I'm not sure people are willing to believe I me, trust but people Ed. are letting it pass for now. I'm willing to have yeah, the claims. To let it, pass. Yeah. it is either good or he is legion. Yeah. Uh, uh have did you want to have that chat from yesterday? Jules, are you willing to have a conversation? Uh, sure. Uh, is that gambling? Yes, it is. Hello. Yep. I mean, so Matt, if it helps with your voting question, I have voted for every... Uh, so... Sorry about for no sorry about nominating you yesterday. That was all a bit uh, desperate. Oh, Cooked up a uh, weird Vortox chat plan, and then die. didn't actually have a target for it. Sorry about that. <laughs> I can die. It's I'm not I'm not a super important person. Um, I feel like I have backup. So yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, are you willing to claim to me? Um, I will give you the three I've been giving everyone. That's fine. I am either the poppy grower, the cannibal, or the general. If you are the general, uh, what is your take on this game? The first night, I got the good was doing really well. Mm -hmm. uh, the night you didn't get executed, or you didn't die from execution. Uh, mm -hmm. The second night, I got a neutral, couldn't could go either way. And the last night, I got a um neutral again so i have no idea i have never played general before so this is yeah pretty new yeah to me that reads as if um if it is a heretic copy a legion game then oh, sorry if it's a legion game that means there's a heretic can play because having uh you know good strong winning at the beginning of the game is like that requires a yeah. heretic play, to my, to my knowledge, basically. Um, if... I don't know, it's, it's possible if, that... If I am uh, a cannibal, if I am the cannibal, I got a one last night. That's interesting. That's very interesting, because that's consistent uh, mm -hmm. with other information I have. Um, although, you know, ST could be completely fucking with us. That is a thing that happens, I hear. N uh, does that. Really does. Yeah, weird. Like, just what, what kind of So, are you anyway, absolutely um, a sailor? Because there's no other way you could have survived. There's nothing else. I'm sailor or leech. 100%. Uh, oh, sailor or leech. Yeah. The The trick is, I think, what I'm going to do, I'm afraid I didn't do it last night. Um, <laughs> I actually drank with you last night. Uh, I think... Oh, so I could have... Wait, yes. no, then you would have been drunk yesterday because I got woken. I mean, yeah. If you're poisoned or drunk, then ST will do what ST does. True. Like, we'll give, we'll give you whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, and I don't, I don't want to bounce a kill off myself tonight because if I survive, it's a waste of time and it makes myself look swass. I think at this point... I don't I, know. I'm... Do you have anything for Richie or Chris? Those are the only two I don't have anything about. I've got a three for Richie. Richie. You got a three from Richie? It's, it's suspicious as hell, but it's also Richie, and, you know, Richie does Richie things, so... I think it I think it might be in our best interest to kill him today. I would go along with that. I would vote on that. Okay. Um, I, I'm, I'm happy to make that... Um, make that... So I feel like I kind of need to address what's being said in chat here. Andrew, you are 100% right. That's what it says in the book. 
Uh, it says that in the book for a reason. That um, just to clue everyone in, Andrew's saying that I shouldn't be, I should be making the sailor drunk more often or at all, um, and that is absolutely what it says in the book. I mean, it goes without saying, right? They can either be drunk or not be drunk. You should vary it, generally speaking. But as far as I'm concerned, the only thing that matters is that everybody's having a good time. I'm having a good time. The players are having a good time. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying watching it too. And as long as that's what's happening, it doesn't. You don't have to follow exactly what the suggestions say in the book. And in fact, if you always do what it suggests you should do in the book, you're kind of gonna take away what it what makes Blood on the Clock Tower special, which is that storyteller agency. You know, sometimes when the demon kills themselves, you should make the recluse the new demon in Trouble Brewing. Otherwise, people will assume that you'll never do it. And sometimes when the sailor uh, picks people in the night, you should always make that other person drunk. Otherwise, they will never think that you're going to do that. If you stand here right now and say, this is what it says in the book, I'm only ever going to do what it says in the book, you're, you're massively missing an opportunity to keep your players guessing. Um... But hey, no, don't don't apologize, Andrew. Like you're making some you're making some sound points here, and the whole point of these these streams is to show people this kind of diversity, right? You're you you are right. You are, everything that you've said is is correct. Um, but sometimes you've got to you've got to do that thing that you're not supposed to do, otherwise they'll never think that you're going to do it. Anyway, I'm going to jump back into some chats now. But thank you for bringing that up. That was that's a really good point, and I'm glad we got a chance to discuss it. We saw his leech. Anyway, um, we've spoken too long. I sh I've let you know about the potential drunkenness. I'm mm -hmm. down to kill Richie because I'm pretty much always down to kill Richie. Um, Let's do that. And yeah, I'm also I'm, I'm getting a little spooked by Ed, but I am that's... too. That's the other one that I'm pretty I, nervous I think about. We'll... And has previously to Jules. She just needs to be executed and find out what the crack actually is. Or just kill Jules because Jules mm. was a very, very hard lift. True. Yeah, actually, when we would when we'd propose the town crier check, which it turns out we almost certainly don't have if Kohav is not the town crier. Yeah, exactly. But but also the fact that Gambling's willing to do it, but then Jules, Jules did speak to Nathan. Like I don't know why you would bother speaking to um, a clearly evil person. Unless it's to basically say who you're going to poison next, kind of thing. But having said that, Kohav should, have, if Kohav's the balloonist, they should have all their information. She, she, she said she, she needs one more day, which again, I no. Didn't... No, she said she, did, she said she followed night one, like immediately. She told me she needs, if she, if she's, if she's the balloonist, she needs one more day. That's specifically what she told me, but she didn't tell me what. And she, this is on the theory that she might not be that; she might be one of the other two. So she wouldn't give me the actual hard claim. Because she doesn't trust me, which is fair enough. Okay, I'm willing to execute Jules tomorrow, but I am campaigning for Kohav. To, unless I, unless I see Philosopher tonight, I'm going for Kohav tomorrow. <laughs> okay. All right. Get these guys back. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, take a couple of minutes, then we'll open nominations. Ed, can I preface... Or not Ed. Uh, ben, can I preface one thing? Sure. If I'm just the drunk, I'm, I'm going to be really upset with you. <laughs> uh, ben, I have a storyteller rules question for public. Go for it. In a Vortox game with a fortune teller, what do they get if they pick their red herring? Um, so I would, I don't actually know the definitive answer to that, but I would instinctively, because the red herring registers as the demon, as far as I'm concerned, that's the correct info, so they would get a no. Don't know if Ed can concur that or not. Agree. Yeah, you yeah for Vortox, okay. you just invert what you would give a normal There we go, order. got it right. Confirmed so... by Ed. Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> Your instincts are great, Ben. Your clock tower instincts. <laughs> thank you. Richie. I mean, thank God, right? <laughs> Otherwise, what am I doing here? Uh, Richie, you've been giving out free for freeze, which I've now heard every role you're claiming claim somewhere else. Do you want to back down from your free for free? I have told people I trust. 
My roll. Well, have... either you're in a double claim or you're not. I want to know which. Uh, I think I'm in I've double got claim. I've got unique claims from everyone except Jules, um, and I don't know, have a claim from Jules. But I have heard a three that Jules has claimed, and none of those overlap with anything Richie's claiming. If that helps. Well, I've had a overlapping roll between those two. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay, there may have been separate threes then. Uh, Richie has hard claim to me. If that helps, that would probably be why right. I'm not so fussed about the overlap. Help. What, one I of have the three not claimed. changed my three for three at all. Yeah, so there is... Richie's role is within Jules' three for three, I think, but... Okay. That's strange. Richie's actual role? Or Richie's fake claim role? Mm-hmm. I don't think we should out this. Okay. I'm... I mean, I think we probably need to... Yeah. You need to start think, telling the truth sometime to win. Well, the, the rumor I have heard is that all three of Richie's roles have been hard claimed by someone else, but that is just what I've heard. Nomination. So, right I'm going to say this again. In my worldview, one of Richie or Jules is the demon. It's like flat out. So, I would, personally, I'll, I'll ghost vote on, on one of them. Ampling, one do we want to. Uh, it would be people we will. The problem is, I don't think we have a town cry. I think that my plan is no. worthless. I don't because... think we have a town cry. I personally am leaning towards Richie for death. I, I think I have... it would be helpful to have a guaranteed good person that we can all talk to and, and clear all of the mess. So it yeah. may be worth going ahead with what Gambling wants to do. But I, I haven't done it well, no, tonight, I'm afraid. Because my problem, my problem is, as I put in chat, I live in fear of doing that, it being a Legion game, and us losing. I don't understand. I feel like gambling's mostly confirmed anyway. If we're all saying it's Vortox and he's not the leech and has to be the sailor. Yes. I see what, yeah. Yeah. It makes sense. I see what yeah. you're thinking of gambling. Mm -hmm. but unless he is a leech who is poisoning one of the points of information and the others he, are. He, 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 he literally only leech. needs. He only needs. Both of the info sources that yeah. we're relying on yeah. here are dead. Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. So. So. And yeah. it only takes one poisoner. Second call. Yeah. Um, oh, Ed nominates Jules. Yeah. Okay, poison. tell us why you've chosen Jules. Um, it's Richie or Jules. Richie has given me quite a convincing world, um, and therefore I'm, you know, gonna gonna lean towards Jules. Um, and we need to execute someone to get me closer to some info, baby. Okay, Jules. I am totally for executing somebody to get closer for you to have info. Um, but I believe Richie is a better target because of reasons. And Ed, let's talk tomorrow. What what reasons? Uh, that feels like a very important part of your defense. Oh, oh reasons quiet. that I've spoken to gambling Don't with. Post and... guys. Yeah, dead votes, guys. Come on. Uh, I'll, I'll drop it, but... Okay, fine, I'll drop it, but I'd rather we do Jules or Richie be 100%. I was like leaning every, Richie. Every living player I'm, is voting for Jules. I, we we I, have time I have still a, to go one today and the other tomorrow. I, I, we're good. I, I, I wish you'd put your hand up, Chris. My, my death doesn't matter, but I am also not... Like, if you kill me, we're the game will not be over, and we will not have won. So, I have a gut feeling you might be the only good player to vote for that gambling. Yeah, and I'm really uh, worried that Chris put his hand down there, because that was... Oh, I'm still Legion paranoid. Sorry, that was, that was yeah. tricky as hell. I, I want to do it in days. Gambling nominates yes. Richie. Okay. Oh, okay, gambling nominates was... Richie. Tell us all about it, gambling. Um, I, I've already told you guys that uh, Richie is my host. I think we really need to kill this. It is, after all, a uh, heretic game, as far as we're aware. So, you know, I would quite like to win by killing Richie because that is a dream of mine. Uh, I also believe that there is a possibility this is actually a Vortox game, and so therefore none of the claims that Richie has given me would want to live. Richie? So unsurprisingly, I've lied to the person who is basically playing a quasi-sailor slash leap and quasi-outed evil, uh, and your accusation involved lots of funny rubbish nonsense. Um, I have given good information to Ed and Nadine, I trust those two. It makes sense. I'm hoping Ed isn't big gigabrain evil person. He just reads to me as a good Ed rather than evil Ed, because basically he's not pushing on me. 
but who knows. Uh, I'm not a good kill here. I think we've got a good vote on jewels. Let's go ahead with that. Okay. Uh, five to execute, four to tie. Here we go. That vote on me did, is did something Richie... that an evil player would totally yeah. say. Did Richie just out Legion? Yeah. Wait, what if it was zoned out for that? What did he say? Had said we, we have a good vote on jewels. We have a good player voting on jewels in the Legion game. It's a tie. Oh, in trade, the what the fuck tie was that? Gambling, no, stopping Nathan's evil. evil. No, that wasn't me, my dude. Nathan no. put his hand up last minute. No, no, you just, uh, you, you voted on that. It didn't need to. Any other nominations that, today? I, agree, I nominate Nathan. Okay, go have. Tell us why I've chosen Nathan. He's clearly evil. I don't know if he's goblin or not, but I just... I we need to give ourselves a little bit more time to think also. So he tied the boat. That's a that's a nom for me. Okay, Nathan. Uh claim goblin. And I'm still the heretic. You uh so I don't mind dying. Yeah, that's it. Oh, if you're the goblin He's and the heretic, that means that your death wins the game for the good team, right? I suppose so. <laughs> okay, so uh, four to tie, five to execute. I just, really, I, really yeah, going for the goblin? We can't do this. We can't. I do don't this. believe no. you, goblin. I also don't. You're all chickens. <laughs> Dude, I'm scared. You, could, you could absolutely be poisoned or drunk. One is not enough. Yeah, but it's not likely. Why not? What Why is not, not likely about it? Richie nominates. Uh, I mean. Richie nominates Kohav. All right, tell us why. Uh, we kind of need to get a kill at this point. Kohav. Uh, I'm not. I'm not the demon. Um, I. Ooh, hello, votes. Um. Could be Leech. Oh, you can ignore Nathan's. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> I. There is literally not very. Uh. It would be difficult for me to tell if I was the leech host or not, but as we are currently in a Vortox world, yeah. I don't really see how I would be the leech host. But if it's a Vortox world, if we don't get a kill, we just lose the game. We can and nominate we'll... and kill a corpse if we need to. We could go for gambling True. again as a leech host. I check. don't mind. I don't mind death, but we don't gain anything from my death. That's basically where I'm at. Five required. Ed gets info from your death. Ed gets info. Okay. Oh, have, I feel the same way. <laughs> I understand. Uh, I know I'm tight. good, so... Oh, hello. Okay. Interesting. Ooh. Okay. What? Six votes for Kohav, including a dead vote from Nadine. Puts Kohav Sorry, on I the couldn't block. trust... I thought Nathan would drop it, so I went fine. I don't see why we needed good votes to kill okay. me. Um, panic, panic time. Uh, Kohav and Gambling are the only remaining good players. Um... Is that your reader, Leo? I... Okay. I mean, if that is the case, it's game over, because you both nominated, I think. And, yeah... Final call? It's not the case, we were right. And you wouldn't get past six votes about Legion. Bring the Legion close. Who's, who's your good team, then, Leo? You? Could it be yeah. another good living player? Like... Kohav is executed. And does not die, everyone goes to sleep. Oh, Can leech. Here we <laughs> Ah, yes! There it is. There it is, boys and girls. <laughs> that beautiful moment that you get most leech games. Oh, wow. Okay, so... Right. But Ed's still not going to get any info. Um... Right, I guess we go choose gambling. Or we'll go see what gambling chooses, should I say. Hello. Oh, excellent. That was delightful. Um, <laughs> you know what? I think I'd like to drink with the leech. <laughs> and and who do you believe that is, Gambling? I, I think it might be Kohav. I'm not sure, though. But I think the Kohav is a nice drink. Okay, Kohav it is. Thank you. <laughs> right. So, I'm probably going to make Gambling drunk now. But just for funsies, what would happen if the leech was drunk. Thank you for the sub, Mike. 
Um, yeah, if if we made Kohav drunk, um, then obviously she's susceptible to dying. And she doesn't die if her host dies. Yeah, but I think that's kind of a little bit unfair at this point. Yeah, I think I think I think we'll have gambling drunk for the first time this game. Um Alright, see who Kohav picks. Do you know what? Um Richie has still technically got Matt's fake ability. So I still need to go and give him a number. Um Right, yeah, let's see who Kohav picks. Oh dear, oh dear, Kohav. It's okay, they don't know the, who the host is. You could, you could just claim Sailor. I did, I claimed <laughs> Philo Sailor. Let's hope everybody <laughs> believes me. Um, I would love for gambling to die. Okay, gambling it is. Please, please, please have him be drunk. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Alright. Hi, Richie. Uh, hello? Yeah, hi. So, uh, the most recent dead executee is still Matt. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. So, I'm here to give you a five. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think he believes our ploy that it is a Legion game, guys. Um. <laughs> okay. Uh, right, the dead do not outnumber the living right now. It's six for six, so we still don't wake Ed up. Sorry, guys, I'm slowing down a little bit. It's 2 o'clock in the morning, and I've been going for 8 hours. You'll have to bear with me while the old noggin uh, put a bit more wood in the burner. Um, yeah, that's everything we need to do. Let's let's wake these guys up. I think that Kohav's about to, try, about to claim that she did what gambling did. That she drank with... The say with who is the leech, and I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what she might try and do. Let's see. Okay. Good morning, everybody. Gambling died in the night. <laughs> oh, I was wondering what I was going to take an animal. Ed. Gambling. Ed. Out of interest, who did you pick? Oh my god! Uh, I drank with Kohav last night. <laughs> Why? Why? Why would you? Oh, okay, cool. I know, cool. I know, I know. Um, <laughs> oh my god! Guys, I guess I'm sober. That's really good. Absolutely. I mean, <laughs> the the big sad here is because we executed someone, but she didn't damn well die. I still ain't got no info. <laughs> <laughs> All I wanted oh. was someone to die. We could <laughs> no, no, skip today. We could skip is today, worth... and then someone would die, and then you would get info. Uh, George, I mean, we do, can... you wanna, do you want to go for a chat, uh, Jules? I, I was wanting to talk to Ed, because Ed and yeah, you are it. the only two I haven't talked to, and I want to talk oh. to Ed first. Oh, do you want to have a three-way? Because um, he knows everything I do. Can I join? I feel I like I'm pretty you, confirmed. Really. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I think it's... Think I think it's okay, uh, Jules, Chris, Chris or Richie are, are the two. Uh... Darling, how are we doing? Hello, I don't trust Richie. <laughs> cool. I The problem is now, I socially trust Richie, but there's no reason that he's not the host. Yeah. Um, that's the problem. Um, are you up for a claim? I, I will tell you the truth. Okay. I am the poppy grower. Okay. And the first day, Kohav's like, oh, I've feeloed into Poppy Grower. And I'm like, well, that's good, because now we have that 
that dual backup and and now she's like no i feel out into the sailor what no, so i'm like, a little thrown she's just she's just the leech we can run with that um yeah so thinking about this uh so if you're poppy grower oh that's fun um, i've been claiming poppy grower cannibal or general and i have backstory or for cannibal general of the yin yang that i've made up that's why people are like oh the, she, she. they they really did know their stuff <laughs> sorry right. duke if you watch this back um. <laughs> 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 like I love the the preemptive apology to someone who might or might not watch it. Love it. Um, okay, so if you're the poppy grower, theoretically evil shouldn't know each other. Jules obviously doesn't care about that, and if in, if anything, no. that's why I keep saying I I it doesn't hurt to kill me. No, I'm that's not. I'm, true. But I'm. It's not going to help us. Well, yeah. Uh, but, and I said that because I thought I had the backup of Kohav as the poppy grower this whole mm. time. And I'm surprised if if she is the demon, she hasn't killed me to find out who the rest of the evil team is. Yeah. It's oh, really confusing. She... Yeah. Because she's mean... known from right off the start. Yeah. Um, if you're the poppy girl, then we're in a world where now the evil team know who each other are even without us killing you. So it doesn't actually harm us to kill you at all. But potentially, yeah. um, but and I suppose there is the potential of you being a host, and therefore actually nothing. Yeah. <laughs> um, sorry, I've just seen Duke's pics that he's just posted in chat. <laughs> <laughs> oh joy. Uh -oh. Um, uh, yeah, that I don't know now. Um, I really wanted some information last night. I did not need. Like, the thing is, yeah, I think. I think from the fact that you could potentially be a host, and that makes a lot of sense. Nathan could be a host and just be playing goblin, not realizing that his own demon has leeched him. Um, but mm -hmm. that you'd have thought. Kohav would have found an excuse to tell him. Richie could be host, and Chris could be host. <laughs> Literally, I don't, I don't have I, any I could, information about Richie or Chris. Like, I, I mean, have I could nothing. be the host. I could be the host, and we have no way of knowing yet. So, you know, yeah. party. Um, cool. Okay, let's go and talk. To, I'm going to try and get some other information, and then we'll see where we're at. And okay, just, I'll see yeah. if Richie wants to talk now. Cool. See you shortly. Coast. Um, wait, wait, no, I thought Jules was a minion. She was protecting. Oh, well, I know. There's too many. You can't have Jules map Nathan and Kohav. I, I got just many. claimed. Jules has just claimed Poppy Grower. Okay, fair enough. Makes sense. Um, okay. Um, I so she's a viable leech host, especially because yeah, like your information, Richie, says that either you are the host or Matt yes. is evil. Um, Given the fact that they tied it on four, and then the Navian could have easily just taken it to five, and then Evil would have just lost. Yeah. Uh, I don't think they tied it on me. Their leap. So, so this is what I think, right? Is I think Jules is either lying or drunk, or yep. the leech host, and therefore the evil team knows each other. Matt and Nathan become the minions because that makes a lot of sense. Yep. Um, in that world. It's impossible to tell if you're the leech host, Richie, because you spent most of your time with either passive abilities or no, wait, with, wait. A, with a minion. Richie was on the ability. block and about to die quite a few times. That, oh, sorry. Yeah. So that implies that you're not. I yeah, think it's exactly. not. So I think Chris, on the other hand, has not been numbed once and not been. Yeah. Chris, or, Chris and me are the most viable. Likely why do you, yeah. you trust Chris, curiously? Um, I mean, I have a vested interest in trusting Chris slightly because Chris is claiming the town is folk of all. Hey, you Did rang? Um... Hello. Yes. Um, do you want to go gamble? Uh, sure. Um, it is my understanding, based on the Knight Order, that if I, the Sailor, or any theoretical Sailor, were to drink with a King uh, Knight 1 and successfully get them drunk, the Demon would still be shown them as the King. Uh, the King acts before the Sailor in the Knight Order on Knight 1. Interesting. 
That's my reading. Ed did not yeah. down that. Interesting. Ed, All right. Ed, Thanks, Ed, ben. Is neither, Ed has neither solved the game and he also got a rules interaction wrong. He's either just tired because, you know, timing. Or. Hmm. Ed's never yeah. tired. He never sleeps like <laughs> Chuck Norris. I don't <laughs> like mastering the Nerf Ed crowd. Like. <laughs> All so right. it might explain some of the weirdness in votes. Bring all these reprobates back. I'm so confused. Welcome to Town Square. Six <laughs> living players. Three votes required. Have a quick chat. Um, so, socially, uh, we've got the impression that Richie probably isn't the host. Jules makes a massive amount of sense of the host. I could be the host. Chris could be the host. Um, I don't think Kohav would have been so blasé on voting on Nathan a couple of times had she hosted Nathan, uh, who then proceeded to claim Goblin Heretic. Um, so I think we're in the world where me, Chris, Jules are viable options. Um, does anyone have any other thoughts? Sorry, um, um, if, it's, if, it's you, if it's you, Ed, we can kill someone else and you'll, in theory, learn yep. a role tonight, right? Yep. And we'll so the info Ed gets could really help us. Um, be poisoned. Also, can, given can guarantee well, Ben will not give me information that helps us. Yeah, if, if he poisoned, I am he hurt. So, Ed. given Jules's claim, Wounded. I think that we should not do Jules today, and we should probably kill Chris today. I'll be brutally honest. Uh, that based on even if Jules's claim is correct, I think it meh. Um, but we can do Chris first if you like. I'm both of them. Uh, Does anybody was scramble to save Jules yesterday when they went for the tie on Richie? There was yeah. No, there was no, no saying but, anything about it, and apparently Nathan thought it was a good idea to tie. Like, yeah, why not just let Jules die there? Yeah. Yeah. The, the thing like is that Nathan, that Nathan is playing out at evil, so he's got the incentive to just throw shade. But yeah. So I think both Chris and Jules nominations are, are open. Reasonable options. But by Sorry. I nominate Nathan. I... <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us why you've chosen Nathan. I mean, it's pretty clear he's evil, so I think this is the kill today. Okay, Nathan. I claim Goblin. <laughs> a strange feeling of deja vu. Uh, okay, three votes required. I think we should at least stuff. get this on the block. Is there a chance Kohav's made the ultimate brain play of um, picking? Her goblin as the host, knowing we went not No, because she's also voted for Nathan two of the three times he's been nominated. Um, oh, I think yeah, that is no. slight, one step too ballsy. <laughs> so, sorry, Ed, you've said that Richie is definitely not. I'm just not understanding your logic there. Can you take um, Because Nathan, while Nathan can could afford to tie on jewels, if Na Richie is the leech host, how big a gamble is that? Because there was yeah, a tie on him. He's Why not is it gambling to tie? Because he's Navian just could two people. Nathan could have broken it, and Richie could have broken it. Yeah. Ed, mm. Ed, how likely do you think it is that the demon would pick you, knowing that you're the king, and knowing that the demon would know that you're the king? Mm, it's not unlikely, but also, I think we, most well, Kohav would know that I'm going to get nominated every day, pretty much anyway. So, yeah. Richard dominates um, Jules. Okay, I mean, Richie, you, tell us why I've chosen Jules. Uh, one of the best of the three Leech Host targets, we believe. Okay, Jules. If I am the Leech Host target, yay, we win. If I am not, uh, Evil gets to know who each other are. Two of the three are out at Evil, so yeah. Yeah, but I, I still... Sure. I don't care. Yeah, it feels like Evil have already coordinated enough that you're probably mm -hmm. poisoned, Jules. Okay, three required. I'm putting my hand down because there's three enough on there, yeah. but I don't know, I'd love to have that's a lot another... Of we need four votes. Jules, do you mind voting on yourself? Is that alright? Just so that uh, Nathan can't nominate and then tie. Yeah. yeah. Four is enough. Thanks. I Jules mean, to be fair, I would just nominate Chris if we had to, but, you know. Yeah, true. Yeah. Any other nominations? Does anybody have a reason to believe there might be a poisoner in play as well as the leech? Yes. Uh, yes. That would explain I... why I've been getting bad info. Or I'm just drunk. 
But so one of Duke and I, if we're good, is either poisoned or drunk. Final call. There's no eat, rise or here. Okay, Jules is great. executed and dies. The game continues. Everyone goes to sleep. I think I think there is a very clear route to victory here for the evil team. I think Kohav needs to kill Nathan so that any of these other three could reasonably be the leech host. That's that's her only move at this point, I think. Um yeah, <laughs> Richie now has the politician role. Uh, and if he dies, uh, does he still have it? No, he, no, he doesn't, because 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 he needs to have his ability to have her ability. Um, right. But Jules is still has the politician role. But most importantly, what are we going to tell Ed? Um, you live one, you learn one alive character. Um, I think I'm going to tell him Choir Boy. I'm going to tell him Choir Boy. I'm going to give him something that's useful. He kn he knows who the leech is, right? So I feel like it's kind of harsh telling him that. So I'm going to I'm going to give him choir boy. Because even if he was poisoned, I might tell him I would tell if he was poisoned, right, by the leech, I would tell him something confirmable because that would then make him... He would think that that was like a double bluff, and I was giving him the truth even though he was poisoned. So I'm going to do that in the hopes that that's what he thinks has happened. I know there's, there's, there is so much going on here. Um, but yeah, yeah, let's find out what Kohav uh, picks first. Hi, Kohav. Hello. I need Ed and Chris to be in the final three with me, so I'm going to be killing uh, Nathan tonight and probably Richie the next night. Uh, I have a question. Yep. Uh, can the leech host get turned into the farmer if the previous player was farmer, etc.? Uh, if I kill the yeah. farmer at night, can the leech host become the farmer? Okay. Absolutely, yeah, but then if the, if the leech host were to die, uh, no new farmer would be made. Of course, yeah, that would well, likely the end would the game over. as well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, so I'm gonna kill Nathan tonight. I'm pretty sure Richie's the farmer. Or do I just kill Richie and hope it goes to Ed? No, I need Ed to get one night of info, I think. Okay, so... I'm gonna kill Nathan. Nathan, Nathan. okay, okay. Yeah, there's, he, there's no world where he's the demon. He, I need demon candidates alive. All right, cool, thank you. All right, I'm gonna stick with what I said before. Oh, I checked the unofficial, and Ed said in the expansion info that if a cannibal has an even if dead ability, they keep that ability even if they die. That's very interesting. Wow, that that would be very interesting. Uh, of course, Richie would have no way of knowing, but yeah, that would be interesting. But right now, Richie has the politician ability. Uh, let's go tell Ed that there's a choir boy in play. Hello, Ed. Hello. Yeah, I am probably, here to tell you probably. that if you there, tell me leech, I'm going to kill you. I would never do something like that. Uh, <laughs> so uh, you learn one alive character. That character is the choir boy. Mm. Okay. All right. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. That's a good point, actually. If you've got two people with a politician ability, only one of them, because they have to be the most, like, the biggest reason why the evil team won. That would be interesting. you got two politicians, but one of them doesn't know they're a politician. All right, let's wake everyone up. Hello. Nathan died in the night. Hooray! Four living players. To, uh, on the host then. Our host options are. <laughs> I mean, I'm happy with that because. Ed, what did you get? I got Choir Boy. It doesn't matter because I'm pretty certain. Like, I've got to get yeah, a live right. character, and the whole point of this is that I'm going to get the things that people are claiming because they're the Leech host. Um, <laughs> you know, it, at this point, any one of me, Richie, or Chris could be the Leech host. I still think socially it's least likely to be Richie. 
The problem is we only get one shot. Uh, I got, we wait a day here, right? J just to clarify, I'm the cannibal. I got a four and then a five. From Matt's Oracle execution. Yeah. So guys, it's a Legion game. I don't trust any of you. <laughs> Those numbers are so weird. The hashtag yeah. Matt Poisoner. Wait, Which I thought Alejo power. was the cannibal. No, Alejo was the farmer. Uh, yeah, and I wasn't. And I, was the farmer. I think that's the poisoner. Night. Alejo didn't tell Are me we... farmer at all. Is that no? Didn't. To do as the farmer, but yeah. Alejo. Is there the anything to be gained by executing today? Like, is there any world in which that's a good idea? Yeah, I think if we kill the demon, we win. So. <laughs> I mean, we can just <laughs> execute yeah, we, Kohav have for the lols. That's not a bad idea. Well, just in case yeah. the sailor thing's true. Yeah. How does, just um, how does fiddler work in a um? Oh, it's you vote for who wins, don't you? So we get Kohav or a good player. Yeah. yeah. Is that right? Okay. So she <laughs> has to go so Yeah, have yeah. fun with that cover. I mean, this you don't have to category. narrow your options down. Yeah, this falls under the category of you are absolutely in your rights as the storyteller to change how the fiddler works for this specific <laughs> interaction. You, you pick the leech host and you pick the other living player and go, which of these two is going to die? Okay. Cool, how, can we chat? Oh, uh, yeah, one sec. I'm just washing dishes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Will you wash dishes during this? Go have on, Luffy. Oh. <laughs> so it's just it's not even slightly gripped by the uh, intense <laughs> social deduction here. This is. So do, you think, like... do you think there's any chance. Do you think there's any chance of that evil talking? Uh, well, uh, it seems unlikely. Yeah. So, I don't know, no. Just looking at who's the leech target. Um. Basically, oh, wait, no. Kohav is likely to have picked her uh, uh, neighbors because. No, they're, they're, um, they're, talking, they're talking because now, because Jules was the poppy grower and now they know who the third uh, evil is. Yeah, fine. Yeah. I mean, I two of the three so... evil ones did two days ago. Does, um, does, I'm pretty does sure the third, third person did want to come out? Yeah, but yeah, now that, they know who it is. Does, does the third evil want to let town know who they are? Hey, I hope it's really nice. Hi, hi guys, it's me. If that is true, they've just learned who the evil team is, then that would make Richie poisoned. Oh, how so? Otherwise, you would cannibalize Jules' ability and they still wouldn't learn. Ooh. Is that how it works? Yeah, that is, yeah. That is exactly Ooh. how it works. Oh, ho, ho. wait, have Richie. they just. Been... Wait, have they big brained it though? Because they. Cohav and Nathan were. Out I'm pretty people. sure Kohav and Nathan knew they were on the same team about four days ago. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Even so if they didn't that, from the start. The fact your, your ability didn't change did. is really suspicious. What do you mean it's suspicious? I don't learn uh, anything either way. Yeah, but you said you got a number. You shouldn't have yeah. got a number with Jules being You two. shouldn't have. Yeah. No, I didn't get a number. I got, that's the two nights before, four and a five. I, nothing happened uh. last night. Right. So, Rich, you, you're saying that that Jules is the third minion? No, 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 no. Okay. I think it's no. Matt. Rubbish Matt, 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 Nathan, Matt Kohav. Okay, yes. guys, I'm just going to go ahead and say nominations are open. Nominate Kohav. Oh, uh, dang it, I had a question. All right, is that a nomination? Sorry, Ed, Kohav. Yeah, I've nominated Kohav, but Duke can ask his question if Go it's. On, Duke. Yeah. Um. So, unless a king is poisoned or drunk. Uh, they have to learn an actual alive character, right? They wouldn't learn, like, say, a bluff or anything. It has to be in play. It has to be a living character, yes. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, newsflash, anyone that wasn't aware that we've got a choir boy. Uh, <laughs> yeah. um, I wonder who it could be. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know. <laughs> um, well, now yeah, you let's, know. Uh, <laughs> let's get sure let's, it. Let's vote for Kohav uh, for the lols, um, because we want to go to sleep. Okay, <laughs> Kohav. I mean... Um, I mean, thanks for the opportunity to talk some more. Uh, I really feel like in this game, once you're out at evil, you really just don't get the opportunity to talk very much. Um, I think we okay. should kill Richie. Okay. I agree. What if it has games. been Richie all along and gambling just like blind picked Richie as the host, claiming that the, uh, Richie was the host the whole time? This feels wrong to me. Three is enough. <laughs> Final call. Yeah. 
this vote feels wrong to me because it's it's final four, but like yeah, it does feel oh. really weird, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, mechanic mechanically, I mean, it'll be a so legion game. Just, just I, did, I, I, I will die have... if um if I'm drunk. I picked Ed, so <laughs> okay. Kohar is executed and doesn't die. Everybody goes to what? sleep. Oh, oh, I can. Okay, so um, I think tonight. I mean, why not? Let's just let's just show Ed Richie, like we've got to show him something, right? And I, I kind of I kind of feel like as the you shouldn't just the, when the king gets to the point where they get information, it feels kind of unfair to just give them a load of crap just because it happens to be the late game. Like we're just gonna. We're just going to tell him. We're going to if he survives we're going to tell him Richie. Let's see what Kohav chooses first though. Hello. Oh, I'm going to kill Richie. You're going to kill Richie. Yeah, socially he's the least likely to be the host. Okay. Richie it is. I I think that was a bad decision. I think uh, Richie was the number one candidate for being... Yeah, because... Oh, no, but of course. No, no, he was the opposite of the number one candidate. God, I really I really do need to go to bed, don't I? It's 25 past two in the morning. Right, anyway, do you know what? Instead of just listening to like me, a senile guy, rambling, let's just go and tell Ed Leech and then wake everybody up. Hi, Ed. Hello. My options are somewhat limited here, so um, do forgive me, but Leech. Cool. I was like, well, you're going to have to tell me one of Leech, <laughs> King, or Choir Boys. <laughs> like, it's good. she's going to kill Richie because we don't think it's Richie, so yeah. It's okay. fine. <laughs> All right. See you later. Ooh, yeah. Right. Come on. Let's get, let's, let's be, let's be doing this thing. Let's wake everybody up. All right, Richie, died in the night. Final day. Here we go. I'm just throwing this out there. Would okay. people take a blind guess, given the options of King, Choirboy, and Leech, what Ben chose to show me? King. King. Leech. Uh, Leech. 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 Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> ben, you could have shown King. I, I retract Richie, and I apologize. <laughs> Wait, just to confirm that Kohev's not the sailor. <clears throat> Bingo. <laughs> I, actually, it's time oh, for the big shit, reveal. I was, I was the leech all along, and somehow we had the sailor and philo sailor. Um, anyway. If I'm, if I'm right. a marionette, please signal somehow. <laughs> Chris, Chris, you're my marionette. I asked you on day one if you I was your marionette, but... That's true. Was that, was you that didn't true? ask me. Wait, wait, no, no, Matt, guys, guys, just, just to clarify, Matt just said that and has muted himself. Matt didn't speak to Kohav and Nathan, but I'm already dead. No, ignore me, ignore oh. me. That, that, that won't be What did Matt say? It was a he, funny joke because he's on the opposite side of the circle from me. He's, I think Matt's evil, but my word view is that I have to be the leech host, which is irrelevant because I'm dead. Sorry, carry on. Okay. So, so, so just to be clear, Richie, I said Chris, you're my marionette. I said that because he's on the opposite side of the circle from me, and claiming that at the old last day is funny. <laughs> okay, so you're am my I right? Marionette. Am I right in saying this is literally a fifty-fifty with no way to tell? Uh, I mean, yeah. So either yet. way, if 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 Chris is the marionette, Kohav would know that and might do some play. Uh, Kohav would also know that Ed is the king and would probably live. For a while. Co have Co have voted with me, I think, at least once when I nominated Ed, and she's next to me on my left, and it could easily get to enough votes. But that's about it. And also, for Chris is did, yeah. for her, and it makes sense for a demon to pick your neighbor, I think. I also think Co have has the sense to not pick me. Just in life, in general. <laughs> I'm just gonna open up these nominations, guys. 
Final day, Chris, final noms. Chris, what are you thinking, considering we're the ones who... Yeah. Well, I mean, Kohath yeah. can nom, but I'm pretty sure we're going to... I feel like you're both just going to nominate yourself, so this is really I boring I think it's me. Um, but, yeah, based on... I'm not sure Ed would be a great pick in this game. Um, although, obviously, that's been proved wrong. <laughs> so maybe it is. Um, yeah, I feel like it's me... Do you remember, do remember how many votes Ed was getting when Richie kept nominating him? Uh, only threes, I think. If that's I got, it. I got a four and a three because I was any, specifically paying attention because I was trying to track an evil team. Yeah. As it happens, the only evil person or the person we now think is evil that voted for me is Kohav. Yeah. Okay. Have you ever put on the block? Were you put we, on the block okay. before? Not even close. Okay. No, I was okay. pretty if sure. We, if we don't know who the third minion is, then it could be a marionette. In which case, Ed, you've got false info. No, there has to be an evil between um, like Matt and Nadine because Matt oracled one. Um, I mean, uh, could I be. Mean, no, could, that, could be that actually makes sense. Then shoot some fun. Makes no sense. Drunk, if if sense Chris is the marionette, um, Ed could be the host because Ed would be poisoned and would, of course, just learn whatever, right? Well, if we'd still leave this in a 50 50, right? Really the choir... We'd still leave us in a 50 50 of whether or not, I mean. If Chris is oh, actually no, no, the if, boy and the if, host, then if, there's a strong incentive for Kohav to not kill Ed because yeah. of the chance that Chris being poisoned might learn somebody who's not Kohav, even though that's who he'd be expected to learn. I'm going to push yeah, you guys. I'm Chris, would you like to do the honors, or should I? Um, you you go for it, Ed. Wait, I would like you nominating me though, or, or yourself. Yeah, hundred uh, percent. Ed nominates yeah, go Chris. Yeah, me. Go for me. Okay. Um. So you kind of puzzled it out. Do you have anything to add, Ed? Oh God knows. We're on social reads now. Um. Yeah. Let's just go with it. Chris. Um. Just good luck, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> See you on the other side. <laughs> Cross your fingers and take the dive, people. <laughs> All right. Uh, just two votes required. Also, yeah, we, if, we've got a. Uh, God damn it, we've got a. We I would for, absolute. I would absolutely love it if um, I did manage to pull this with the sailor, Philo sailor, and I was actually the leech, and Co was my leech target or something. That would be just. The most joy. Wouldn't have been able to survive. Wait, was if that six was, or five? That was six. Sorry. Six. Okay, never mind. If it was Sailor, Philo Sailor. I it knew was, it. And Chris, and Chris would be your target. Final Chris. call. Yeah, it would have to be Chris. Oh, yeah. 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 Unless but you were poisoned so the ninth, I have survived execution. Oh, well, I'm, oh, I'm just, I'm just the Vortox, and if you're just the Vortox, then God, bringing the day to a close. No, no. <laughs> we go have N. Nathan got oh, a playing chicken Ed, here. I think Wait, Chris. Chris, Chris, Chris no, is executed. Oh. And Jules, dies. you're such a politician. <laughs> Jules, fortunately, you've just won. <laughs> so congratulations. <Yes. laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So uh, congratulations to the good team who clinched it on the final day, including Jesus Jules, God. even though they were a politician. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody politicians. The entire time. Do you know what? I was really hoping as well that on that final day, um, that like they only got four, mustered four votes, and then you could have just gone, guys, I am the politician, and I, I am knew, about. We knew Jules was the politician. <laughs> oh, right, okay. We knew Jules yeah. was the politician. Been, if there was epic. only four votes, because, we had it. Because um, Matt, Matt is on the evil team, and I, he's told the you, only person yeah. I told. Yeah, yeah. Um, which I know I was busted. Sorry, would, would Richie have also maintained Kara. the? <laughs> would Would Richie have kept the politician ability as well beyond death? Yep. Yes. So yes, he would. Yes, he would. Yes, he oh, would. Exactly, so, so exactly Richie, you, you, you could have. Yeah. If you, if <gasps> Jules would have. If Nathan doesn't vote, we can win with Jules and yes, Richie. Yes, you yep. could have done. Okay. Waiting for Richie. However, yeah. however, this is important to note. Both Jules and Richie could not win with the evil team. Only one of them could. <laughs> Only one. <laughs> That's what we remembered. It would have been Richie oh, voting be last, and he was going to be the one, like, 
because he, he yeah, had the ability but to flip. Jules claimed poppy grower and confused a lot of people. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I was working so hard. Oh, yeah, I've, no, I've no doubt they both did, would have done an excellent job in that final day, but mechanically only one of them can be most responsible. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, let's do a roll call. So we had Alejo the farmer who um, sadly was murked during the day. I was really, really hoping that Kohav would kill Richie in the night because I was going to turn Jules into a farmer, which would have massively confused Alejo for at least some time, I imagine. Um, but uh, it didn't. It didn't come to pass. Um, Gambling was the sailor who was drunk. Who was not drunk at all until the night that Kohav killed him. That was the first night that he had made himself drunk. Um, every other night I made somebody else drunk, including a night when he poisoned Matt, the poisoner. Not that it made any difference, because that night Duke the fortune teller chose Chris, his red herring. Um, Duke also... Duke, Duke got a yes every night. He chose, I think, Cohaven, Ed, then... Uh, and, and he was he was sober on the first night, and Cohav was the demon, so he got a yes. Then he picked, like, Ed and someone else, and he was poisoned, and he got a that yes again. Way. Then he was yeah. sober again, and he picked Chris and someone else and got a yes again, and then died. Um, Navian was the saint, of course, uh, died in the night. Nathan was the goblin, who came, claimed both goblin and heretic, which I thought was wonderful. Um, Richie was the cannibal, of course, who only got woke up when Matt the poisoner died. We actually were, was not sure what Matt was claiming, but we looked at the bluffs, we realized that he was claiming to get some kind of info and just figured it's got to be Oracle, um, which I think we got right, Matt. Oh, no. yeah, Matt I, I actually stumbled... took Oracle before we talked. He's yeah, I stumbled psychic. into Oracle during my conversation with Jules day one and just stayed there. <laughs> Love it. Nice. Um, Ed was the king who learned choir boy, then leech. Chris was the choir boy uh, who, if Co have would have killed Ed, I don't know what we would have done in that situation because it's difficult to know whether making him telling him the truth would have made him seem less like the leech victim i don't know i'm, I'm just glad we didn't have to cross that bridge frankly um and nadine uh. was the amnesiac whose ability was each night except the first night select a player you learn whether or not they are susceptible to dying Ooh. Nice. So it's I just hunting sailors and leeches. <laughs> yep, hunting sailors and leeches, which just sounds like a brilliant Dungeons and Dragons module. Uh, and I think that was <laughs> <laughs> that was everyone. The bluffs were philosopher, oracle, and heretic. And oh. Navian, that is exactly why I was like, I think there is a politician, but I don't want to say why because I don't want Richie to realise that he might have a politician <laughs> ability. <laughs> <laughs> if it had been and relevant, that was Ed, why. We would have that was very wise. <laughs> <laughs> when, when Nathan <laughs> voted, like he took it to six votes, I was like, "Well, sure." I mean, I think yeah. his only hope—I mean, mechanically, his only option there was to either do nothing or try and make it look like he wanted Chris to die. Because the yeah, the yeah, yeah. The, the the good team were definitely going to get five votes on it. So, honestly, I think yeah. in that instance, Nathan did the right thing. I, I, yeah, it confused it, it me. It made me panic. Yeah. It made me I panic. I wasn't on unvoting, but I had to pull rank somehow to try to to <laughs> trick someone to not vote. It was one short, and I. Uh, but early in the game, with that tactic, I did force someone to use their dead vote. So. True enough. Remember. All right, well, I would hang around and uh, listen to these guys chat, but I am literally dying <laughs> in here. It's, like, boiling hot. I've got a fan, like, three feet away from me that's doing nothing, and uh, my eyelids are feeling like they're made of lead, so I think I'm going to call it. But um, thank you so much for hanging out with us for eight hours, some of you. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. Um, tomorrow, which is for me right now today, so Sunday, J uh, July the 4th, the US stream will be going ahead, but of course most of those guys will be spending the day with their family, so it's going to be two pre-recorded games that Capelli and Tyler recorded uh, yesterday. But the stream will go ahead, there will be things to watch, so do tune in, and um, we'll see the rest of you next Thursday for some more Kickstarter exclusive fun. But in the meantime, look after each other, stick around because we're going to raid. Take it easy.